And welcome back to the vlog. There is one week left in the rifle season. I've got a bull elk tag, actually either sex tag, but looking for a big mighty bull. So that's what this vlog is gonna be all about. Chasing the mighty bull elk. Here we go. Super exciting evening. Spotted a couple bulls, one really unique one, and sitting there, phone scoping him, and I was like, ah, I better crawl up on this knob and see if there's anything else. And sure as heck, there's like a seven by seven standing there, and then there's this big six point with big fronts, and he's got some kind of funky backs, and I was like, oh. So I set up to shoot that bull. Literally had one minute of legal shooting light left. I dialed, he was at like 3.30, and I was set up on him. And then he walked like halfway into the timber and I could see his vitals, but I couldn't see his head. And then I started second guessing myself. I was like, I don't know if that's the same bull. Sat there, watched, watched, watched. Ran out of time. So yeah, tomorrow, Karen and I are gonna get up super early and try to be right back in that spot right at first shooting light. Also, if we kill an elk way back there, we're gonna have to haul in a toboggan or something and sled them all the way out. Cause it's like way steep snow. <laughs> Always a weird feeling killing an animal, but sometimes I just rather find their sheds than actually kill one. So <laughs> we're gonna get a lot of meat, and Karen behind the camera really wants bone broth. So we got probably two days of packing meat ahead of us. So, so that's worth it. <laughs> start processing, tag him. Keep my tags right in this zippered pocket here on this sick of vinyl harness. It's a pretty slick spot to keep the old tags. I knew I had my tags in my pocket, but they were uh, all folded together and I had an oh moment, but I found it, so we're good. <laughs> Now begins two days packing meat. All right, so Karen and I brought down all the meat and the horns to this snowy patch that's semi-flat and a couple miles away we got the truck. In the truck we've got a polk and we'll use the polk to load everything onto and haul it out because there's like three feet of snow. Polk for the win, we hope. Got the polk, headed in. Yeah, we 
got the head one hind quarter left so I think we'll huck these up in a tree and come back tomorrow for the final load. I guess we could drive with the door open. I've used Polk's handful of times on some winter mountain goat hunts. It's awesome because it allows you to take a little more gear, but at the same time, it absolutely sucks because you use muscles that you never use. Glad that's over with. We're gonna head home, go to the house, and get this meat hung up. And then tomorrow, we'll come back in for the final load. Head in with the Polk for the final load. It's a bit of a drag. <laughs> Back at the truck, we're gonna load things up. Head back to town, do some meat cutting. Man, the camper is loaded up. That is a very full freezer, full of elk meat. Well, that is a wrap on this vlog and this elk season. So, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. That helped me out a ton. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>